everyone, it's Erlene, and today we are going to review some of my crystal and gem books. Um, my friend had asked me which one do I recommend, and I thought, why not make a video about it? So let's get started. So let's start with this one. This is DK Pocket Gemstones, and this is a nice book. It has nice color pictures. It doesn't really give you the metaphysical properties of the stone. It basically tells you the hardness of the stones and where the stones can be found. And it is very informative. I do like that company. I refer to them a lot. This one has about 1,500 pictures in it. The pictures are nice and clear, although it looks a little dated, but it's, it's a newer book. And um, I, I was quite happy with the information in this one. Again, this one does the same thing. It does tell you about the hardness of the stones. And that one was about $20. Um, this is a really cute one. You can tell I've read this one over and over. This one is a mini book on the stones. This will tell you exactly what they mean. And if you can't afford one of the other books or you don't have access to it, this one was $14.95. And it is a really uh, informative book. I'm very happy with it. Um, I think I bought this one at Alexandria 2 Bookstore in Pasadena, California. And I just, I really like this one. And it is a good size. As you can see, it's probably about maybe five inches by five inches you can carry this in your purse, and that one is by Robert Simmons. This one, I believe I purchased at the same bookstore. It's by Judy Hall. Um, it also talks about the sacred sites, and it has nice color photos in it, and it has a little, tells you a little bit about the history of the stones, and... I just, I'm very happy with this. I think I had received a gift certificate and um, this is one of the books that I bought. That one is also was at Alexandria's for $19.99 um, by Judy Hall. This one is my all-time favorite one. Um, I have read this backwards and forwards the metaphysical properties, the spiritual properties. It just tells you everything. Um, it'll tell you the colors, the type, availability, physical benefits, emotional healing, the chakra colors, where you need to put them. It also tells you the magical significance, which I really like. And the, uh, the divinate, uh, divin I can't say a divinatory meaning, um, the empowerment, the, you know, what sign uses this stone. And then the edges are colorized. So if you're looking for, you know, your blue stones or green, you can just flip to the edges really quick because it is in a rainbow color. I love this book. And I've had it for many years. And... You can see how well loved it is. Um, this one is by Sterling. I think it was, oh, $18. I, it's by Cassandra Eason. I think I might have another one of her books. Um, there's over 500 crystals that you can refer to in this book. And that's very important to me. How many crystals in the research. This one is by Michael. I hope I don't mess up his last name. I'm not even going to attempt it. Um, crystal he crystal Power, Crystal Healing. This one is fairly new to my collection. There's not a lot of pictures in it, but it does. You can tell I've highlighted everything. and the, um, There's just a lot of important information. Uh, there's pictures in the back there. I think I might have this in the bigger version. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double check. But there's a lot of reading. Very informative. I give that one about a 9 out of 10. 
It's $22.99. And this next one I had purchased at a bead and gem show. And I was really fascinated with the book. Oops, they're all falling off the table. Hang on. This one looks like it's from the 70s. I don't know if it's a reprint, but um, I really enjoyed reading this one. There's uh, the historical tradition, um, just all types of information that can be valuable to you and your customers. The pictures are small, and that one I did pay $29.95. I might have just came right under the wholesale price because I am a a uh, what am I <laughs> wholesaler this one I just recently purchased with a gift certificate and it is a really fun book uh, $27.99 and it gives you let's look on the inside these two women are the ones who wrote it and the pictures are very nice. It gives you a brief information on some in the back there. It tells you where you can put the stones on your person. It's just, it's more of a book like you feel like it's your friend talking to you. They were very um, cute in the wording. I, I just, I liked it a lot. And um, I would recommend this one. And there's nice stories in there about how they got started in their business. This one is Healing Stones for the Vital Organs. Oh, did I give you the price on this one? That one was a little bit more, uh, $27.99. This one is uh, Healing with 83 Crystals, Traditional Chinese Medicine. And... I like it. It's quick to the point. Uh, the stones are colorized. And I would recommend this one as well. This one, how much is that one? $16.95. And if you're into this type of thing, this is a great book. Oops, my bracelet got tangled. This one is Crystal Energy. Very simple to read. It tells you straightforward about where you can place the stones in your home. If you're waiting for a check, put a green stone in the mailbox and that has worked for my customers. Um, I, I enjoy this one a lot. It's not very, um, it's, it's not, uh, you can read it in a day just really quickly in a day or less. I liked it, I would recommend this one. And I don't see the price on there. It is by Mary Lambert, $17.95. This is another DK book. This one generally is for kids. And I like to think I'm a big kid. This is very similar to the pocketbook that I showed you, but obviously the pictures are bigger. It just has just beautiful, beautiful pictures. And this is, like I said, it's great for a kid. Oh my God, look at that, it's beautiful. Um, they do not really tell you about the metaphysical feeling, if, <laughs> feelings, metaphysical meanings, $15.99. I also have it this one, Rocks and Minerals. And as you can see, I, they have a ton of books out where you can just get great information from. This one is, look, it tells you what you need when you're out looking for gemstones. Rocks. So this is a great book. I feel they're basically de designed for kids, but that's okay with me. This is the Rock and Gem book, um, also by DK. Um, let's look on the inside. 
I feel like it's both of those other two books put together. This one does have fossils. I have one of their books on fossils. So I could probably give away those other two books to my friends because all of the information is combined. So this is a great one. If you want just to get this as a gift for somebody, I'm sure they would love it. This one, my sister found it at the junk store and it is by Anna S. and George E. Harlow. And let's see how much this was. I know my sister only paid like a few dollars for it. It was looks like it's originally $40. This one I didn't really read yet. I've been uh, so busy with other things, but the pictures are really nice. Ooh, look at that. Very beautiful. Very nice pictures. Maybe I'll read this one tonight. Let's see, what else do we have here? Earth Medicine and Healing Stones. I don't recall where I purchased this one. It's a good possibility. I purchased it at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army or another junk store, who knows? Looks like a pretty good book. I don't know if I've even read that. I, I know I've had it for a couple of years. Maybe I haven't read it yet. This one is Simply Crystals by Cass and Janie Jackson. And this one was $10. I think I purchased this at Alexandria's Bookstore, possibly. There in Pasadena. They have another store somewhere else. I'm not getting any credit for mentioning their names. I just love going to that store. It's a great metaphysical store. So look at that. Not bad. I do like really nice colorful pictures. So uh, this is, oh, this is fun. I purchased this with a gift certificate. It's a journal. So you can write how the stones work for you in your journal. And uh, I love the fluoride. I've been... Uh, well, let's see that I write in there. Uh, fluorite is one of the known wishing stones. I love using fluorite. It's very strong, though, when I put it on my forehead. This one is crystals for health and home and personal power. And Ken and Julie Taylor. This one looks like it's about $20. And this one. It looks like it's talking about the sun signs, how the stones are related to it. And I, like I said, I generally like more pictures of the stones, but that's okay. This one, I've had this one for um, five or six years. I do like to refer to this as well. Mm -hmm. This one is by Judy Hall. She's the author of The Crystal Bible, and she has out several of those. Those are cute little uh, books. I don't have any of those in my collection, but um, it's color-coded on the side here. There's great pictures. Uh, the glossary is amazing. It just kind of gives you everything in a nutshell. It tells you about the different shapes of the stones and what they mean, and that's very important. Um, I would suggest everybody knowing about the different shapes because it helps when you're selling crystals or incorporating those into your jewelry and art and yeah so this book is about $25 as you can tell it is well loved it's broken in and um, I like it this is also by Judy Hall this is a very beautiful book it's not that wide it's about seven inches by 12 inches and it's only on about 101 power crystals and the information is really um just straightforward the pictures are beautiful nice color pictures 
This one is the Crystal Zodiac by Judy Hall also, and it uses birthstones to enhance your life. It talks about uh, your moon crystal, uh, moon qualities, explore your hidden needs, um, overcome emotional blocks, nurture yourself, develop your intuition, uh, past lives, unconditional love ritual, and it's just, I thought, a pretty intriguing book. I would highly recommend this. Me, This is also by Judy Hall, The Crystal Grid. And I think this is very informative. The more you learn about stones, the more you need to realize where you need to put them on your body. This is just such a cool book. And then last but not least, The Illustrated Guide to Crystals by Judy Hall again. I have a few of her books, obviously, as you can see there. And this one is $14.95. And it's just like a little miniature version of that big giant book. And just to the point, no pun intended, but um, I wanted to show you guys the pictures and in case you're ordering them online, sometimes you don't know what they look like on the inside. Ooh, this looks good about the uh, oils. Very informative. So I love all of my books here. This was super fun. I enjoyed going back through the books and looking at them with you. I hope that if you're just starting out, this little video might help you find some great books. That's my favorite book, The Complete Crystal Handbook. Um, if you're just starting out, I would suggest that one. And then, hey, you may end up with a collection like mine. I'm sure others have maybe even bigger collections. But um, good luck. Happy crystal hunting, and I appreciate your time today. Thanks. Have a happy day. Bye. P.S. If you're feeling creative, check out my other videos. There's lots of fun things to learn. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.